Okay, today we're going to show you how to configure your Maris pedals to work with Pilot Wave. Today we're using the Enzo, but all of the Maris pedals have the knobs in the same orientation. So you can use this tutorial to set up your Hydra, Mercury 7, Autobit Junior, or Polymoon as well. Okay, so the first thing you do is turn your amplifier off, then hold down the Alt button while powering on the pedal. You'll notice the LED flash three times to let us know we're in globals mode. The first thing you want to do is configure the EXP slash MIDI jack on the back to work as a MIDI input. To do that, you rotate the bottom right knob all the way to the right. And you'll see that just the lower of the two small LEDs turns on. That lets you know that the EXP slash MIDI jack is now set to MIDI. The next thing to do is to set the MIDI channel to 5. That's the MIDI channel we use for all the Pilot Wave quick start presets for the Maris pedals. To do that, you rotate the center knob until only the larger LED on the right is illuminated, this one here. So turn this knob and you'll see there's 16 different MIDI channels. You want it so just the big LED on the right's on. Now you're on MIDI channel 5. The third thing we want to do is enable buffered bypass. There's a relay bypass inside of the Maris pedals. But we want to use buffered because we want to be able to switch the effect on and off really quickly rhythmically for sequencing. You can get a lot of really cool effects doing it that way. And if you use the relay bypass, you're going to wear it out and eventually it'll break. Plus the buffered bypass sounds really good. So using buffered bypass is the way to go. So we rotate the top right knob all the way to the left. And only the left LED should be on. So now we're in buffered bypass mode. So now what we do is unplug it, then plug it back in, and your global settings are saved. And now it'll resume normal operation. Next, we're going to connect the pedal to Pilot Wave. And to do that, you have to use the correct MIDI cable. Pilot Wave comes with three different MIDI cables, a standard MIDI cable, a white one with a quarter inch jack on the end, and a red one with a quarter inch jack on the end. For the Maris pedals, you're going to want to use the red cable. Connect the round end of the cable to the out jack on Pilot Wave. Then connect the quarter inch end of the cable to the EXP slash MIDI jack on your Maris pedal. Now your Maris pedal is set up and ready to work with Pilot Wave. Head over to stepaudio.net for more information.